Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got a couple of very, very interesting bodybuilding updates. The first one is Stefan Matala, who just posted a couple of shots, and guys, this guy blew up. I did not expect him to get this big this soon. From what I'm hearing, he's 275 pounds right now. This is insane, this guy was a classy guy a couple of months ago, he was prepping for the Mr. Olympia, he decided to pull out because his weight wasn't coming down, and uh, he decided to focus on growing and competing in the Open next year. And man, does his body want to grow, like this is crazy, this is a huge freaking progress in very very short time, I mean conditioning is still very good. Even at this weight and this size, you can see chest separation, you can see that he has no, no body fat basically in his midsection, he is looking freaking massive, look at the size of his arms and, and forearms as well, he is definitely starting to look like an open bodybuilder, I mean he is an open bodybuilder right now. Chris Bumstead is gonna have his Open Pro debut in a couple of weeks, and Chris, you know, he won't be that much bigger compared to his uh, classic look, but he will be bigger, he will be fuller. However, Stefan, if he did an Open show, like, four or five weeks after his classic show, I think he would still do pretty well in Open, but he actually is gonna take a full-blown off-season, where he's gonna try to grow as much as possible, and as you can see, it's already going really well, so when this guy actually competes in the Open, I'm pretty sure he's going to be, like, in a top three of most the pro shows, not like Mr. Olympia or Arnold Classic, or probably not even like Pittsburgh Pro or, do I don't know about Dubai Pro, but like as far as the other shows, you know, a little bit smaller shows, yeah, I think he's gonna be like in the top three of many shows. But that's just a wild prediction, who the hell knows what he's gonna look like once he actually gains the weight and how lean will he get at the new weight, you know, when he gets bigger, what's that gonna look like, but you know, he is pretty complete, the back, the back needs to come up, especially for the open, but like from the front, you know, arms, shoulders, chest, even legs, he has massive legs, he's not showing them here, but I'm sure his legs are gonna be insane, yeah, this guy is gonna do really well in the Open, and now after seeing that Chris Bumstead is gonna do the Open, we'll see how well will he do, but it kind of feels like we're gonna see more and more of these classic guys switching to the Open, especially guys who have the potential to grow. You know, there's probably a lot of guys who are still forcing everything to reach the classic weight cap, myself included, for example, I'm far away from the classic physique weight cap, I still have a lot of room to grow, so I will never be an open bodybuilder, but like these guys who are, you know, easily at that weight, who can just push a little bit and get freaking massive, I'm sure a lot of them will actually switch to the open, especially now after Chris Bumstead does well, I'm sure he's going to do well at the Prague Pro, I think he's going to be top two, we'll see, maybe not, but I think so, and I think Stefan Matala is also going to do really well in the Open, there is a possibility of him even winning a pro show. He kinda reminds me of Michael Lockett, for example, but I think he can even get bigger. Maybe not this year, but in a couple of years, I think Stefan Matala is gonna be a great, a phenomenal Open bodybuilder. Maybe even someday he can be at the top of the Mr. Olympia. I, I think he can, I think he can for sure. If he was holding himself back so many years, and he was still looking, and he's looking like this, guys, after only a couple of months of off-season and, like, uh, focusing on growth, not even that much, maybe, like, two months, I think he pulled out of Mr. Olympia at, like, one month out, and he was prepping for that show, and, like, he just blew up so fast, so give him a couple of years, like, with his shape, with his full muscle bellies, with his structure, with his completeness, with his strong body parts, I mean, this guy can be a really freaking good open bodybuilder, I think he's going to be one of the top open guys in the future, in the open in the Mr. Olympia, I can see that, again, yeah, that, that's far away from today, but I can see it, you know, I think that's gonna happen, if you guys agree, or you see it otherwise, tell me down below in the comment section. Alright, the next thing we got is a new photo, actually a video, of Chris Bumstead, but this is not a recent photo, as he says right here, this is at 6 weeks out of the Mr. Olympia, 
But it's still interesting to see what Chris bumps that actually looks like before he makes the weight. And here in the caption of this post, he says something about that. So he says, maybe if my beard grows back in the next week, so will all the muscle I dieted off to make weight. So he is saying that he has to diet his muscle off to actually make the weight. He believes that if he just simply didn't have to make the weight, he would be bigger. It's not just body fat and water weight that he's losing when he's prepping, he's actually losing tissue. And at this point, at six weeks out, he did look pretty freaking massive. I mean, can you compare him to like the other open uh, pros? I mean, at his height, you would have to compare him to somebody like Samson Dauda. And no, he doesn't have the size as Samson Dauda, but like it's it's mainly noticeable in the in the shoulders and, and, and arms, but like the chest. It's comparable, of course, Samson's chest is way, way bigger, but do you really have to be Samson's size in order to beat him? I mean, he was beaten by Hari, who is like 60 pounds lighter, and Derek as well, when Samson wasn't uh, in great condition. So, the point that I'm trying to make is not that uh, Chris can beat Samson, but that uh, he can beat a lot of open guys. And potentially, Martin Fitzwater as well. If he shows up with this amount of size, and I think he can bring back this, this size in five weeks. You know, it's not two weeks. He can still do a lot in two weeks. You know, if he does a different peak week, if he just uh, rebounds a little, if he, you know, tries to bring fullness instead of uh, sharpness and detail. But five weeks is actually enough to actually build more muscle. Because first of all, his body is like a sponge at this point. I mean, having to make the weight, getting so shredded, your body just wants to grow after that. It's crazy. I always try to utilize my rebounds post-show. I don't go on a vacation or anything like that. I always try and stay focused after the show because that's the time you make the most progress, for sure. So if he utilizes this the best way possible, he can definitely grow muscle, grow tissue. And the fact is he lost, basically that's what he's saying. He lost some of that muscle during the prep. So there is this amazing thing called muscle memory. And, uh, you know, bringing back old muscle that you lost is much, much more efficient, much faster than building new tissue. But I think he can actually bring back what he lost and maybe even build some more. Because again, five weeks is plenty of time. And if he actually accomplishes what I'm saying, and also brings crazy fullness, which I'm sure Hunter Amber is gonna do a great job with because he already played that game many, many times. Like, I'm sure he could have brought Derek more conditioned, for example, last year, but he didn't wanna do that. He brought him in as big as round as possible. Same thing with Hadi at many of Mr. Olympias. And I'm sure they're gonna do the same thing with Chris. Chris is going to be freaking huge, guys. And still probably more detailed, more conditioned than, than all the guys at Prague Pro. I think there is a really big chance of Chris winning the show. And you know what? In my, in my comparison video between Martin and Sibam, I actually said that Martin is going to win based on the poses. But now I'm actually changing my mind. I'm gonna, st I'm gonna say, my prediction is that Chris is going to win the Prague Pro. I'm gonna say that right now, and I'm gonna stick with that, I mean, we'll see, there is no way of knowing until we see him on stage, but that's the way I feel, to be honest, I was thinking about it, even in my private time, not while making videos, yeah, I think about bodybuilding often, and I watch other podcasts, and I heard what Sean Ray saying, and the way he put it, I'm actually starting to believe, I actually believe, I think Chris is going to win the Prague Pro and qualify for the Open Olympia, and man, man, I hope he's actually gonna do the Open Olympia as well. There is maybe like 1% chance of that happening, so I'm not gonna count on that. But as far as winning the Prague Pro, yeah, I have him winning. And the last thing we got for today is uh, Charles Griffin, who announced uh, retirement, basically. So as you can see in this post, he says that uh, his next show this year is going to be his second to last show. He's going to try and win one show and qualify for the Mr. Olympia, do the Mr. Olympia, uh, become a four-time Olympian and end his career with that. What is the reason of him quitting? I have no idea. He is not a very young guy. He recently had a pec tear, which kind of 
kinda ruined his physique, I mean, he still won pro shows and plays stand with that pack there, Tant of the Mr. Olympia, but, yeah, like, uh, higher than that, and I mean, Tant this year, it wouldn't happen, it happened, I think, uh, last year, but this year, no, I don't see that happening, nor in the future, I do think this guy is basically like a, you know, an average pro that wins very small open shows and goes to the Mr. Olympia, and again, that 10th place, that's amazing, but he is not exactly somebody with a ton of potential. And honestly, I don't want to sound like a, like a douchebag, but to be honest, uh, he is not gonna be missed that much. Let's be real. I mean, but it's a newsworthy story, I wanted to share it with you guys, you tell me down below what do you think, and tell me what I think about Chris winning the Prague Pro, and about Stefan Matala becoming one of the best open guys in the future, I can definitely see those two things happening. Anyways guys, once again, thank you so much for watching this video, like it if you enjoyed it, and please, guys, subscribe to my channel, and also if you want to show me some love, you can buy hostile supplements and use the code EVEN10 for 10% discount, once again, thank you guys so much, see you soon, all the best, and bye bye.